All right, Shalom. Oh. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh oh, for Hashem Yahushai, for Hashem Rakhah Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Mercy and Atul Well. Salutations to the men of the Hope Land Saints Elect. This is a train that comes saying Shalom. Shalom. Oh. All right, we want to do a quick edification. All right, so we saw in the news yesterday, uh, you know, that GMS made uh, in a news article, you know, but. It's not the first time that we we made any news we made the news down here in Trinidad front page actually all right and um you know like Yahana made the news back then but every time the truth or basically under the title Hebrews lies he want every, every time Hebrews lies make the news it don't ever be on that good spotlight because they, they don't they don't want this truth to come out so wherever they whenever they bring it out they will actually bring it out to defame us to vilify us all right they will never speak good of us all right according to the spirit of the lord but forgetting about them other groups we sticking on gms now guess what they will never talk about hey you know the same young so-called black men coming together they uniting they you know they're preaching the word of god you know and they they standing firm for the word nothing like that they wouldn't say that you know these men are seeing that they, they know the brotherhood that these men have you know you can see that they sincere about where they know it would never say anything like that what you will see is they will talk about you know and and, and basically is the truth all we speak is the truth you know that the so-called white man is so he going into slavery all right the black woman she's the devil all right and according to the scriptures they're wicked as hell all right but guess what when we speak against the world they have a problem with us that's why the scriptures say uh let me read that real quick this is um first peter chapter 4 verse 4 it says where in the think is strange that ye run not with them of the same excess of right speaking evil of you all right so they're gonna speak evil of us because we ain't running with them in the same excess of right we ain't running according to the world so when we speak against the things of the world they will come and they will talk evil of us all right so the basis of this video is that hey even if you know like your camp make it in the news and you know they, they talk shit about you they saying that you know we wicked we going off we 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 we're not speaking the truth whatever evil like they shut on us in the in the news and on the media wherever the case is hey don't let that turn you from the truth glorify the most side because the scripture just said we're gonna be the fame for the sake of the lord yahaba shame all right this is luke chapter 6 verse 22 best are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake all right verse 23 says rejoice ye in that day and live for joy for behold your reward is great in heaven for in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets so yes yeah, so we are to rejoice when we see things like that not hold our head down and be ashamed to go out because our family might speak evil of us saying that hey you see this this thing where you you need to come out speaking to the young brothers you know brothers like in their teens who still living on their parents roof the parents say if they don't leave this truth if they don't leave that that group you know you gotta come out of their house all right don't don't let that turn you from being in this truth the scripture said to glorify and rejoice all right rejoice because the same thing happened unto our lord yahweh shy so that's supposed to give you even more strength so that you know hey i'm in the truth um, all right Go down. this is um first peter chapter 4 of verse 13 but rejoice and as such and as and as much as ye partakers of mashiach suffering that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy yes yeah, so guess what you the scripture said um blessed is he that is not ashamed of me and you can't deny the lord now I saying, you know, some like let me say like the camp come up on the news, all right? Some incident happened on the camp on the news and they speak it evil of the camp. And like what Peter did when they say, Hey, I know he he, he was part of that, and then you say, No, nah, I wasn't part of that, I wasn't with them, brothers. You deny the Lord. Damn. All right. Guess what? You ain't gonna be able to, to rejoice in that day because the Lord ain't gonna want to have no part with you. So if you deny him, he will deny you. That's right. He decide, no, you're not. All right, so you gotta rejoice when you see things like this happen. If somebody say you part of them Hebrew Israelites, I saw you on the papers. Say yeah, I'm part of the Hebrew Israelites. Correct. And what? 
guess what you there's your time the scripture said um today for you tomorrow for me all right today for you tomorrow for me so today is your day but guess what the scripture said i also will laugh when your fear cometh so when your fear cometh guess what we're gonna rejoice we're gonna laugh all right when you catch in hell because this will be going through in hell all right if i can say this too brothers i don't understand this this is not unrighteous thing we doing this is a righteous thing Done. right by we coming out there and hey we we the most i care free people so we waking up all here you know we trying to show that we're right we're right and we're wrong but you people look like that you know all the rebuke you're trying to rebuke us for doing the right thing and that's what the most i require you know and, and then too they, they will get the, the, the pastors and the deacons and all of these false prophets all the um these are praise you understand? these are the ones that go and get all the praise in because why they love we love to hear lies Come, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, um, verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Mashiach, happy are ye for the spirit of the spirit of glory and of your power and rested upon you on, on their part. He is evil spoken but of but no but of no your part. He is glorified. Yeah, so we are evil spoken of, but guess what? On all part, Yahabah Shemi Ashai is glorified. Yeah. This is Philippians chapter 1, verse 28. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you salvation that is of Yahweh. So guess what? Where are we going to yeah? The world gonna look at us like scum, the scripture city of scoring of many of many people. We're gonna be like the filter the earth. But guess what? In that day. As I said, we'll be going through in hell compared to where you people are going to go through. All right? It ain't compared to where you people are going to go through. So you people have a problem with what we doing. You might talk shit. Yeah, you might talk shit. All right? You might say whatever you are to say. You might say that, you know, we hate women. means homosexuals. We hate people. We hate the white people. We hate you. We hate Esau. We hate you, Edomites. You so-called white. We hate you. That's right. All right? We hate you either, my just a couple of minutes ago, some pass and the iron us down, like if we have tattoos on our foreheads. But guess what? We don't give a damn. When you in slave, you're gonna be looking at you never gonna be looking at us. Because your your the scripture says we don't cast them head long, your head gonna be down to the dirt. Fine. Just like the snake, you are east, so look another one coming, all right? Yeah. Another either might coming. You you your head gonna be down in the dirt. So we don't give a damn about what you say or do right now. Fine. The day is coming when you're gonna be in your rightful place and all you people are gonna be in your right minds. Because right. you people mad right now. The scripture said Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. Alright? That had made all the earth drunken, wherefore the nations are mad. Means what they they they, they drunken with all that bullshit that he saw okay. that he saw pushing. They mad with it. So you people mad right now, and soon you're gonna be in your right mind. Right. Alright? Imagine we out here pushing this truth. Warning and waking up the elect about the destruction that are gonna come, but all you could do is talk about you know, we talking about against you know the black woman. What the fuck so good about the black woman? The black woman have no good qualities. Three quarters of them don't even know how to cook. They don't even know how to boil water. But guess what? They 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 have all kind of qualities. All they know is to paint their face like they're going carnival and pour some blasted extensions on their fingers. All right, don't even know how to wash the cat. But when we speak against the black woman for their good, you have a problem with it. You all you like to praise the black woman like she's fucking like she's some kind of goddess. And you people need to wake up. That's right. All right, and your wake up call is gonna be very, very great. It's gonna be great. Reality gonna slap you in your face soon, so you can pop, pass up in the news, do all what you want. But guess what? This word is exhortation to them that know. The scriptures ain't speaking to them that don't know. I'm speaking to them that know. All right? This exhortation for you that if it so happened that your camp end up on the news, guess what? The scripture says do nothing that the ministry be not blamed. All right? So don't do nothing that the ministry not blame. Once you do things that within the bounds of the scriptures, hey, good. But the scripture says let none of you suffer as a thief or a murderer. Once you're suffering for righteousness' sake, then guess what? And you end up in the news on the papers, guess what? Rejoice. Rejoice, man. Wow. You can say that, rejoice. Rejoice. Because great is your part in heaven, so rejoice. But don't let that turn you from the truth at all. All right? Go ahead. 
verse 15. This is First Peter chapter 4 and verse 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Hey, this is spread. And I said, let none of you suffer as a murderer. Go ahead. Or as a thief, or as a evildoer, or as a busybody. In, in order in other men's matters yeah so suffer for righteousness sake don't suffer for things not according to the scripture suffer for righteousness sake all right go ahead yet if any man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify the hour no is on his behalf yeah go ahead is yes, it yes. yeah and I stand glorified in most sides. So as I said it, hey, if you end up in the papers, you end up on the news because I'm pushing this word. Because you curse out Edomites, you curse out some, some Moabites, some Ammonites, them Hamites. Because you curse out any of them ites, curse out the black woman, curse out wickedness. Because you're rebuking at the gate. Alright? And you end up in news. Because we end up in the news because we rebuke some blasted black bitches. We end up in the news. Alright? We ended up in the news because of that. Guess what? And that didn't phase none of us. It didn't phase none of us. All right? But at least they know the word. They know the word. All right? Man, this is some longer than something. Go ahead. This is a First Peter chapter 4 and 17. For the time is come that judgment must bring... Must begin. Must, must, begi must begin, Salakia, at the house of the Hawah. And if it first began with us... What shall the end be for them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Yeah, what will be the end of them that obey not the gospel? So, guess what? Their end is going to be die, it's going to be, going to be epic, it's going to be grand. Alright? Yeah, we just, we just read in the word. No stress. No stress. Alright? This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5. Alright? Um, I said at verse 4. It says, so that we ourselves glory in you, in the churches of God, of your patience and faith in all persecutions and tribulations that you endure. So we are to endure persecution in this. All right? It says, which is a manifest token of the righteousness of Yahweh, that he may be counted worthy of the kingdom of Yahweh, for which you also suffer. So guess what? We're going to suffer physically. We're going to suffer mentally and spiritually. All right, being on the news, being evil spoken of, guess what? For righteousness sake, guess what? That's something that we had to endure. All right, seeing it is a righteous thing with your power to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and with flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh. And them that speak evil of us, they don't know the Mosai. Because if they knew the Mosai, they would have glorified them as the Mosai. All right? It says, And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of our Lord and from the glory of his power. All right? It says, When he shall be glorified in his saints and be admired in all them that believe, because our testimonies among you was believed in that day. All right, it says, Wherefore also we pray, wherefore also we pray always for you that our power would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all good pleasures of his goodness and the work of faith with power. That the name of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our power and our and the Lord Yahushua Mashiach. So, guess what? By you holding firm to this truth, they can tell. Whether um summer, spring, winter, rain, whatever the case is, persecution, good times. Guess what? Once you hold firm to this truth, guess what? You glorifying Yahaba Shami Al Shai. Alright, you glorifying the, the most high. Alright? So you have to hold first firm to this word. Do ever deny the faith. Alright? Whether Romans can. Right, this is Romans chapter 16 and verse 19. It says, For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. Yeah, your obedience has come abroad unto all men. So, by them putting us in the news, but putting us under a good light, guess what? That might cause an elector to find us. All right? It might cause an elector to find us because now you're going to, they might think that they're doing evil. It's just like with Greek mythology. With Greek mythology, right? This. 
um, Kronos, Kronos got a, um, a prophecy that one of his children will come and conquer him. So what he did, every time he made a child, he would eat the child. But guess what? It's because of what he was doing caused the prophecy to come to pass. So Esau might think that by them speaking evil of us might actually cause this word to stop, but this might actually cause the truth to flourish. This can cause the truth to spread. All right, let me read this real quick. This is um, Second Ezra chapter six, verse twenty-seven. It says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared." So you declare the truth because guess what? The the wicked. Come on, uh, Daniel chapter twelve, verse ten. Come on, Daniel chapter twelve, verse ten. Good afternoon. This is Daniel chapter 12. Verse 10. Go ahead. It says, shall, Many shall be purified and made white and tried. 144,000. Go ahead. But the wicked shall do wickedly. The wicked shall do wickedly. Go ahead. And none of the wicked shall understand. Yeah, none of the wicked shall understand. So when they see us in news and they speak in evil of us, the wicked wouldn't understand, but the wise will understand. The wise cannot understand that, guess what? We have to go through these persecutions. All right? The wise will understand that, but the wicked wouldn't understand. So don't let these persecutions turn you away. Don't say, well, nah, this can't be the truth because if it was the, was the truth, we wouldn't end up in the news speaking, being even spoken of. Guess what? The scripture said, let me go back to Luke. Let me go back to Luke. This is Luke chapter 6, verse um, verse 26. Warn to you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets, T.D. Jakes, Joyce Myers, Joel Osteen. All right, all these all these fake ass prophets. All right, guess what? They they've been well spoken of, but guess what? Yahweh, the the, the Caiaphas was well spoken us of, but Yahweh Shai, the son of the Most High Yahweh, was evilly spoken of. Was the fear was vilified because of this word? So the same thing had to go, go had, 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 had happened to us. Go ahead. Philippians chapter 1 and 29 it says for unto you it is given in the behalf of Mashiach only can't do to first scripture go ahead not only to believe on him but also to suffer for his sake but also to suffer for his sake we also had to suffer all right it says John 15 verse 20 it said I said at verse 18 it says if the world hates you know ye that it hated me before it hated you if you are of the world the world will love its own but because you are not of the world, all right? But because um, you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world here you. So the world hate us, all right? The world hate us. And who they love? They love Kitty Jakes, Joyce Myers, Joel Austin, all, all, yeah. all, all these, all these, all these, all these when they choose the love. That know? don't feed them. That don't feed them. But rob them. Happy, simple, man. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 34 and 1. And the word of the Lord, Yahweh, come unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel. Do feed themselves. Yeah, that do feed themselves. Well, should not, should not the shepherd feed the flocks? Yeah, the shepherd had to feed the flock. That is what the word shepherd mean. All right, somebody that's taking care of the flock, but all you're doing is, is benefiting from it. And I don't, I don't, listen, I don't give you people wrong. I don't give Joel Osteen wrong. I don't give T. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. I don't give none of you wrong. Because if your congregation want to be jackasses, so just take the whole fucking pay to give you and, and not receive any salvation, guess what? I don't want to read the scriptures to realize yeah. they're doing shit. All right? Pan yeah. the camera because you ain't seen your face. Exactly I, I don't give them wrong. Creflo, if you got to make your money, you make your money. If you want to be a jackass and just blindly give away your money, you go ahead. Be a jackass. Like I say that. Talking about Creflo Dollar, I was watching something this morning concerning Creflo Dollar, Creflo Dollar, and he say, he say the Lord died on the cross 
for we to be rich, for we to prosper and wealth. But didn't the scripture say not all only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake? Can. So by living in wealth and riches, what were you, you suffering? Were you suffering? Didn't the scripture say lay up not treasures in the in, in the in the world, yeah. but lay it up in heaven? Because he's he trying to love the Lord and, and loving money at the same time. The scripture says he can't love can't have two masters. Two masters. And this is um John chapter 14. Uh, let's see, wait, John chapter 15, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Alright, they don't know the Lord. Alright, let me read one another scripture. They don't know the Lord, so they will do all these things unto us. It says Isaiah, read Isaiah 66 verse 5. And give me John 16 verse 1. Isaiah 66 verse 5. This is Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 5. Go ahead. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. He that trouble that is that his word. Your brethren that hated you, that cast you out, that cast you out for my name's sake. Yeah, they're casting us out for the Lord's name's sake. They cast out our names as evil. All right, go ahead. Said, let the Lord Yahweh be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy. Yeah, he. so they say, hey, let the Lord, they, they believe that doing the Lord are good by persecuting us, but the Lord going to appear unto our good. All right, go ahead. And they shall be ashamed. And they shall be ashamed. So don't worry, because guess what? If you feel in ashamed now, guess what? Just shake that demon off. Be strong. But guess what? Mm. The world going to be ashamed in the day when the, the, the brother showed me a song with Maxwell. It's Maxwell, right? Maxwell, yeah. Guess what? And he said that we didn't know. We should have looked harder. Yeah, you should have looked harder for the truth. Because at the end of the video, it showed that the nukes was coming. Because we was out there preaching that the brother going to do a beautiful video on it. Mm. All right? Look out for that video. The brother going to do a, a, a video based on it. All right? We out here for your good. But you, because you want this world to continue, guess what? You're going to be destroyed along with it. Right. When we say we want America to be destroyed, you look at us as madmen. But guess what? When you were in slavery, when your ancestors were in slavery, guess what? They wanted America to be destroyed. Right? Swing low, sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home. They didn't, want, they didn't give a damn two bits about America. But now all of a sudden, you had to work three jobs just to survive. All right? The Edomites looking at you like, like scum. They tell you go back to Africa. All right. They tell the Native Americans to come out their land. When they met them there, and you happy at home? Come on. You fuckers just love Stockholm Syndrome and the most are going to destroy you. Sorry. All right. And you know, I would have said wake up, but guess what? I say wake up to the elect that's still asleep. All right. But you two thirds, two thirds of you people, guess what? Don't wake up. Just die. Die in your ignorance. All right. May Yahweh ba Hashem Yahushai shalak rayom wa inashyom wa haragyom. All you two thirds. All you two thirds. Kill all of you. Destroy all of you. It has saw destruction. And you Edomites. You so-called whites. You Chinese. You Japanese. You so-called Hamites. You East Indians. May the most I put all of you to death. Mawat la babal. Man. Ma what la I I I bad yum. Um a bad yum, alright? All the all the all our enemies. If I say the word correct. Alright? We're gonna go, go ahead. We be, Romans um, back in Romans 16, start over from 9. It says, For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good. And simple concerning evil. Yes, yeah, simple concerning evil. So don't worry yourself about you know what happened in the media, wherever the case is. Just push this wood, just push this shoot because we almost out. We almost out of this wicked world. Yeah. All right. So as I said, if they speak, if if the, the news, you know, they, they they take our video clip and they play it up and they speak evil of us. Guess what? That ain't nothing new. They did that onto our onto our onto our forefathers, the prophets. They did that onto us because we are our forefathers. We were there back then. All right. So it's, it's only evident that we had to go through it again. So don't be ashamed of this word. 
All right? Don't be ashamed of this word. Give me the, the John 16. All right? Um, okay, John 16. I mean, John 16, verse 1. It says, These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. Yeah, don't be offended. That is what we do. We speak unto you that you don't be offended. Talking to you young brothers, don't be offended. Go ahead. Right? It says, They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the times cometh that whosoever killeth, killeth you, will think that he do it, does it God's service. Yeah, they think they're gonna intend that they do it with the most high service. Alright? Killing us by trying to kill our names. Alright, or be in Jacob's trouble in the concentration camp. They're gonna think that they do the most high work, but guess what? Because your family might turn you over to the police thinking that they're doing a good. Alright? But not doing that to destroy the Lord anointed. Alright? But guess what? Don't let that trouble you. The scripture says, rest assured for the most side is a righteous thing for the Lord to put um to bring persecute during trouble upon them that trouble you. Alright? So don't let that turn you from the truth. Alright? So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yao Shai, Basham Raka Kodash. I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not really well. Salutations to the men of the whole plan, saints say elect. Alright? To you few aqua to listen in the word, aqua kion that listen in the word, that following. I know it's gonna be hard because it's the weaker vessel, but guess what? Uh, try power uh, with that bullshit spread. When you talking about, you know, that is me and it's hard for me to change because guess what? If you could tell your husband that it's hard for you to change, alright? Mm. Guess what? We can't go and tell the most side that. Change is a part of life. Alright? Exactly. Don't that, that bullshit with this is how you meet me and you can't try to change me, you can't force me to change. Guess what? The most I don't want to hear that bullshit. Damn. You really think we can come in this truth? We can't come in this truth and say that, you know, that we, eh, eh, um, tell the apostles that, you know, it's going to be hard for us to change whereas in the world and this is how we're going to be and the most side water. No, 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 no. We had to, we had to put our fucking foot to, to the pedal. Oh, and we had to try out the scriptures say by mercy and truth in iniquity is purge. And by the fear of the most side, many part from iniquity. So you women need to get your mind right. All right? You need to start to learn the fear of the most side. Because in the time of Jacob's trouble, hell is going to be upon you if you don't change. So with that, I'm going to say shalom to the saints. Say elect. Shalom. Stay strong. Shalom.